Hi friends, welcome to Wanderlust channel. Today we are visiting the Rangingkuti Fort which is near Parambalar in Tamil Nadu. So let's get started. Rangingkuti Fort is a 15th century fortress located about 16 kilometers north of the town of Parambalar in Tamil Nadu. It is located 253 kilometers away from the state capital Chennai and 70 kilometers from Trichy. The fort was constructed by Vijayanagar Nayaka kings, then occupied by Nawab of the Carnatic. The fort was the scene of the Battle of Valakonda during 1751. The British troops were supported by Muhammad Ali, while the French were supported by Chanda Sahib. Though the battle is called by the nearby village Valakonda, it was fought in the fort. While the French won the initial battle, the British ended up winning the final battle with the help of local Muslims. The fort is oblong in shape with semicircular bastions, a moat encircling it, and three fortifications at different levels, built with cut stone blocks. The fort has a palace, residence buildings, underground chamber and an underground passage that links Petai, the top level, with Kapai Medu, lower level. The fort is called Ranjinkuti Katai, and also referred as Nanjinkuti Katai. The old premises is believed to have been housing Hindu temples dedicated to Shiva and Hanuman. The fort is oblong in shape with semicircular bastions and a moat encircling it. There are three fortifications at different levels, built by Vijayanagar Nayak kings with cut stone blocks. The lower bastion is the main rampart surrounded by mud wall. The open ground known as Petai is approached through a flight of steps, which was once a battlefield. The top tier is called Katai Medu, used as guarding towers by soldiers and housing cannons. The small water body in the fort is believed to have been used by the Nawaba swimming pool. The fort has a palace, residence buildings, underground chamber and an underground passage that links Petai with Katai Medu. Here is the underground passage from top of the fort to the bottom level. This is closed now. The pit in the center of the fort was used as a prison for male prisoners, while female prisoners were jailed in small blocks inside the fort. The fort culminated Mughal architecture in the region. 
it is also believed that he introduced cotton cultivation in the region, which has continued in modern times. The fort is one of the prominent tourist destinations in Parambolar. We can get the beautiful view of agricultural fields from many places of the fort. Now we have reached the top level of the fort. Here is the swimming pool on top of the fort, which is believed to be used by Nawab. Here is the view from the top watch tower, you will get long distance view from here. Here is the view from next watch tower. Here is another passage which is closed now. We can see a mosque inside the fort which looks to be actively used to do prayers. Thank you for watching the video, please hit like button, if you like the video, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Thank you. See you in the next.